Hi, and welcome to Physics. My name is Kristen Lewinka, and I wanted to start off just by apologizing to you guys for not being here tonight. Um, I'm actually right now doing a fundraiser three-day 60-mile walk for breast cancer, um, which is a cause that's really near and dear to my heart, and it just happened to fall on these days. So unfortunately, I can't be here, but I'm sure that you wanted to be able to put a face with a name and see who was responsible for teaching your kids physics. So welcome. My name, like I said, is Kristen Lewinka. This is my seventh year here at Demarest, and I have been teaching both honors, essentials, and college prep level physics for the past seven years. Um, I also coach here. I coach softball in the spring, and I am the Physics One Science League Advisor. Uh, you're getting a couple of handouts right now. So the first thing that you're going to get from my lovely supervisor, Mrs. Zaboda, is a format that a uh, handout that looks kind of like this, which tells you, ooh, if I can get a hang of this, um, pretty much what to expect. Your kids already have this. Um, we went over it a lot about everything that they should expect from this year and what I expect from them and how they have to uh, work to be successful. Um, honors physics is a very, very demanding course and there, there's going to be a huge emphasis on problem solving and a huge emphasis on um, being really analytical and being able to apply what we're learning in class. So there are going to be times where they're going to really, you know, get to that point where they've got to realize the amount of work that they put in is going to hopefully be really equivalent to what they get out of this course. Um, I hope you can see I am very excited about the subject that I teach. I love physics. I would never teach another class. Um, and the best thing I think about it is how um, applicable it is and how much it relates to the real world. So with that being said, we are going to be doing a lot of great demos, a lot of experiments. We're going to be moving around the classroom. We're going to be outside. We're going to be um, out in the hallways. We're going to be collecting data. We're going to be really analyzing relationships between different variables. Um, and hopefully we're going to have a good time along the way. Um, the other thing that you can see if you look at the back of that sheet is the grade distribution, how everything is going to be kind of split up. The um, big emphasis is on tests, marking period exams, midterm exams, because those are really the points where the students or where your kids can show me not only did they learn the information, but can they apply it to really high level problem solving. Um, in terms of grading and things like that, I try to be as fair as possible, but I will tell you, and throughout the year, it's it's going to be the type of course that gets more and more difficult. Um, and I've told them this before, but I know you guys really see your kids a lot more than I do. Um, it's really, really important that they come to me for extra help. And I'm always here. I'm here before school by 7, 7.15 most days. And I'm here after school. Once we get into softball season, after school is a little bit tougher for me. But for the most part, they need to know that I'm the one they should be coming to. Um, you shouldn't be going out spending lots of money on a tutor for them because really I'm the best person that's going to be able to help them with my class. Um, Anyway, we have a lot to cover, but I ho hope you can see I'm a pretty organized person. So they, if they ever have questions about what com what's coming up in the future, they can always go to my website. Another sheet that Mrs. Zabot is going to hand out to you is just a um, printout of the homepage of my website. And I want to just point out a couple of things to you guys as well. Your kids already know this, but on my website, there's a lot of good information. The first one is some extra resources for them. All my PowerPoint notes are already online, so whether they're out absent or they're preparing for a test or quiz, they can always go here, check out my lecture notes, and they'll be good to go. The other thing that's really important is my web calendar. I update this regularly, and it has all updating uh, upcoming um, tests, quizzes, big projects, things like that, so that they can kind of plan in advance, because I know that they have um, a pretty rigorous course schedule if they're in the honors track. And last but not least, I've got an honors physics link. On the honors physics link, I've got all of their packets that we use, problem packets in class. Um, I also have all review sheets um, and exam preps, and they're up there already. So anytime they want to start getting ready for the first big exam in this class, which is our marking period one exam, um, they have all those resources av available to them. The other thing that I want to point out, and that's on my website also, is the easiest way to get in contact with me, my email address litwinka at nvnet.org. That's the best way to get in touch with me. However, I do try to encourage your students, well, my students, your kids, to send me an email or talk to me in person themselves and really start to advocate for themselves. Um, if you do have any questions or concerns, I do want you to feel free to email me. But hopefully, it's your kids that are coming to me first, OK? 
Um, I hope that I didn't talk too quick or too much or too often. Uh, but I hope that you enjoyed at least being able to see me slightly. And um, please say goodbye to Mrs. Zaboda and tell her thank you for covering my class. She's the best. And if you, if you ever have any questions or concerns, please get in touch with me. But I hope it's going to be a great year and your kids are going to learn a lot. Thanks. Bye.